Hey there, this is Tony. Welcome to Coolest Life. This is Harvest Host Edition. Right now we're between two points of interest. Actually, we're just outside of Syracuse, New York at a place called Abbott Farms. Basically, Abbott Farms is a, uh, they sell wristbands and they got a bunch of activities for kids. And they've also got a nice uh, store and everything, but we're actually here by ourselves today. Um, but it just happens to be that way when we're here. Uh, main owners, I think, live there and they've got the uh, farm here. And they got us uh, sitting around around the backside here between these two silos. Um, but uh, it's a really neat experience Harvest Host is. Uh, I'll tell you more about that toward the end of the video. And uh, but uh, place called this place called Abbott Farms has been in a uh, been in their family for many many years. And I'll put some info about about that information uh, here shortly because you've just entered the cool slice Harvest Host Edition. <laughs> Inside of one of their buildings, they've got uh, a cidery, which is actually a bar, like a uh, alcohol bar. Look at there. I guess some stuff they blend here. I guess they make them somewhere around in here. It's pretty neat. Then they got a little store. Lots of sauces and stuff. Most places you orchards that sort of thing you go to, they, they're going to have some kind of sauces. We'll take a look at them real quick, just so you can see. Oh, my daddy and the steak sauce, those are awesome. You can see it's got the names on right there. Another little bakery and everything inside of here. Come on now. Here's the bakery. I like the display, that's cool. So they got a little uh, barn here. That looks pretty cool. But look at this. It's being pulled by goats. <laughs> you don't see that very much. Except for maybe India. They do that in a lot of India. I like all the little all the little pieces here they have. Looks like a real barn. We got stalls. That's pretty neat. Some type of loft. Sliding door. <laughs> That's neat. You also got this piece of machinery here. Maybe you know what it is. If you do, leave me a comment down below. It's definitely some kind of apple masher or something, or maybe a cheese press, huh? Some kind of press going on. Barn, they have some goats. A big goat, too. <laughs> Good size. <laughs> hey, goat. Yeah, I have a goatee. <laughs> hey, he's got a, he's got a goat with a goatee. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> it's a small little barn here, but there's also one of these things. Piglet. Piglet. He's about 40 pounds. I want you <laughs> biting my clothes, go goat. Are we biting my clothes? <laughs> he's like, just pet me, you moron. <laughs> Wired haired. Definitely something different. This harvest host. Let's not forget the chickens. So they had 200 chickens in here one time. I don't know how. They must have been on top of each other. <laughs> Got a lot of them in there. 50 cents for some food. For some food. A goat. A little bitty over there. How's the food? I'm gonna get you some. <laughs> he likes grass. Not a lot of grass in there. They've eaten most of it. They've eaten most of it. There's a go from inside. Check out these up here. They got a walkway for them. So they can get way up high. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Uh -huh. This one just wants you to pet him the whole time. <laughs> I've never seen a uh, walkway like this for goats. It actually goes from one pin to another. 
That's nah, interesting. There's a there's a ghost standing on that one. There's one up there. <laughs> interesting. Some ideas for other uh, people who have goats. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying it. A nice lookout. Interesting. So I'm convinced. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the uh, imagine all the sodas in the world, the different brands of sodas, and multiply that by four, maybe even ten. That's how many different brands of beer there is. I've never seen these before. Look at that. Shifting. Never heard of them. Hmm, interesting. On well, that barn there, I've seen better days. If you can't tell it, it's leaning to the left. That's why these doors don't shut all the way. You see how they meet up top and they don't meet at the bottom at all because the whole thing is leaning. I don't think I'd want to get in there. It's a cool little barn though. It is a working farm and then when they have events or to put on specials, try and get crowds out here, they actually have hay rides. That's a serious one for a hay ride. Big rocks for kids to climb on. This is one of those uh, jumpy things that kids bounce around. It's like a bounce house without walls. They get a bounce on those. You can hear the motor running on it, the air blowing it up. And they've also got a slide here, which is pretty cool. Actually, let me see what my cardio is like, and I'll go up this, up this hill. You can get a better view of their lay of their land. They probably put something a little smoother inside, I would think. Yeah, it's a little smoother inside. A little bit of ribbed, but not bad. Kind of neat. A little walk of stuff. Neighbors. There's a horse out there. Look at the horse farm there. You see that horse out there? paint apple fields orchard apple orchard orange groves apple orchards got it great little stop anybody rabbit want that that's cheerios everybody likes cheerios Feeding bunny rabbits Cheerios. <laughs> oh, one more? All right, one more. <laughs> and out the back side, they have orchards. These are a whole lot of orchards. First, I mean, this is, I thought they were grapes or something because they had a, a pole here at the end and it was growing that way. But these are actually apple trees. Never seen them quite grown so close together. No, irrigation system in there. I hope you enjoyed this visit at this uh, Harvest Host. If you don't know what a Harvest Host is, uh, I've got other videos for that. No, Harvest Host is essentially a, a software program or an app you can download and become a member of Harvest Host like us. Uh, and what you do is you uh, uh, you can it costs you about forty five dollars for a year membership, and you can go online to their uh, their app. And uh, see what's around. So if you're going from point A to point B as an RVer, or even just regular traveling, <clears throat> especially if you've got a camper, they will let you stay on property free of charge. So it's a really good deal. Here they actually offer power. That's uh, pretty rare as far as Harvest Host goes. But there's farms, churches, um, wineries, uh, distilleries. Um, we were just at a distillery. Check that one out. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, all kinds of farms, not just these kind of farms, but kind of like you see with, with, with animals. But uh, I'm going to let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe and send this to your friends that are interested in Harvest Host or actually hosting if they have a farm that might be interested in, in hosting families that are coming through. Like us, we're in our RV. we got a place for us to park. We leave, leave everybody alone. They go on about their business. So it's a really good deal for everybody. Win-win. They've also got some things here for sale that we're going to be buying while we're here. They've got some ciders and some um, different uh, different kinds of drinks and 
uh, ketchups and and they actually got a bakery so they've got a lot here to sell uh, on property so we're gonna visit their store tomorrow on our way out hope you've enjoyed this video and like I said like and subscribe to y'all subscribers we can get thank you thank you thank you for the subscribers I think we're at 200 I don't know, I think we're at 650, something like that right now, as of this video. But uh, um, wish you all well, and we just got to get back out here living the coolest life.